Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is the first video back after insomnia and I'm excited to be back making videos. Now, I hadn't been home long until I was told about a potential disaster in Earth 2. Now, at this point, I feel like they should just have a little ticker calendar that ticks over like days since last disaster. And um, well, it's back down to zero again now. Before we go on to what this disaster was, I feel like I should give you a recap of what Earth 2 is for those who aren't aware. Earth 2 was supposed to be the metaverse. It was supposed to be Ready Player One with the graphics of Red Dead Redemption. Except it wasn't. And it still isn't. And it's never going to be. Except they just sold little tiles that you could buy 5x5 five five meters. But it wasn't really 5x5 five five meters, it was 10x10. 10 10. But then it wasn't. It was 19 point something by 19 point something. At this point, they don't even know what their game is. It's kind of disappointing. It's very frustrating. But it's also insanely hilarious. It's very, very good comedy value. So we're going to take a look at what they did recently because this blows my mind. It's once again another security risk and it's got them scratching their own heads. So there is something called hollow buildings. It's essentially you can 3D model something in a web browser and sell it to another person. Well, the marketplace opened up yesterday, and within the first day of this happening, it, it all fell apart. It, it crumbled to dust. I have said many times that this whole thing is kind of like held together with shoelaces and bubblegum, and uh, we, we're going to take a look at why. So the marketplace came out. Fantastic. Here was their advertisement. It looks like something that an AI churned out for a Gamigo mobile game in about 10 minutes. Uh, this does not represent the game in any way, shape, or form. This is literally nothing source. So, hurrah. Here is the marketplace in question. And this is where, you know, you can buy and sell these blueprints. They look fantastic, right? Now, here is where the issue really starts to arise. K Dizzle, our main man here, says... The, by the way, Kadiz is one of the uh, kind of like community managers. There has been some discussion going around about some players reportedly being able to download hollow buildings from the marketplace, essentially stealing them from others. The thought of it. Earth 2's stance on this is simple. It is considered theft and will be treated strictly as such. Earth 2 will freeze the accounts of and report players who take part in such activity to the relevant authorities as well as social media platforms. I don't know what that means. Social media platforms, what has that got to do with this? Well, anyway, do also ensure that you have carefully read through all of the announcements as well for the latest information. Thank you. So they're taking this very strictly. If you are just, in fact, I want to rewind a sec because this kind of boggles my mind. The entire point of this entire thing being crypto, Web3, NFT, blah de blah de blah is that you can't steal shit, right? You, you own what you own and you don't own what you don't own. Well, yes, people are stealing the hollow buildings and re-uploading them. So the problem here with the way that Earth2 have done this, of this whole system is you can mint your own buildings as NFTs and sell them. But somebody found out a way to download it off the bazaar, which is their marketplace, and re-upload it and just use it themselves without having to pay for it. Now, this has got the Earth 2 team scratching their heads. They are truly dumbfounded. It took me and three other people minutes to work out how this was happening. And it's not even, it's not even difficult. This is the, the mind-blowing bit about it. This is entry-level Web Dev 101. So do you know what? I'm going to be kind today. I'm going to be thoughtful. And I'm going to show them how they are getting shafted. Because it's really not hard. So here's the bazaar, right? The, the good old bazaar. Now, out of interest let's make a clone of the in the pipeline right let's say i don't want to pay 0 0.02 earthian dollars i click 
open image in new tab. It doesn't open the image, it instead downloads it. Well, here's the page. Now, th this is where you start to realize that they're using static image, uh, well, static file storage, static file hosting. So, what happens if we change .png to GLB? GLB is their 3D model format, so surely, surely they didn't use the same file path, right? And surely the server isn't just allowing anything to be downloaded, right? Oh dear. Well, it would appear um, you can just download anything. Now, it won't open with a regular model software, so bear with me. So here we are. Now, I can open on this website, Creator 3D. Uh, I can open the, the, the file, right? The um, GLB file. And here it is, the, the exact thing that we just copied. This, this is kind of insane that these guys are being trusted with so much money and so much wealth. And they are actually scrambling. Like, tru truly scrambling to find out how this has all gone wrong. If they can't figure this out in a day, and by the way, like, this is a day after it was discovered, still working. How can they be trusted to do literally anything else? Now, you might be thinking, well, Cal, I mean, that's pretty bad that they can duplicate these buildings and, you know, sell other people's stuff. But surely it's not all bad, right? It can be fixed. Yeah, it can. Except um, a few other people realized that literally everything on their file server is accessible. Like everything that is on that file server, which just so happens to include the entirety of the source code of their front end. Now, this doesn't sound too bad, but um, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty bad. They've got all their API keys in here, so they're not private anymore. Now, I'm not going to be distributing this or passing it out or putting it anywhere. It was sent to me by an individual who... I, I just needed to kind of clarify that this was truly what they said they'd got, and it is. So apparently people have managed to download way more than just this by just bombarding the server with requests for things that may be on there. Um, and yeah, so somebody has made a Python script that has gone through and downloaded something like 3,000 of, or all 3,000 hollow buildings that there were. I mean, it's quite funny that you don't even have to right click save an image anymore, like an NFT. You can just straight up get the original. Like, and to show that this works with any, Let's go Mega City School. Uh, let's see if it works with the blue ones. I've not tried it with the blue one yet, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, there you go. There's another one. So now let's go. Let's go back here and let's do. Um, let's try another because screw it. Why not? And there we have it. The the thing we just right click saved. I I'm actually they're, they're kind of a security risk to themselves at this point. It's like watching a child run while carrying scissors. You know it's not going to end well. You're just not sure when it's going to end badly. So then we have Liz, another moderator, saying, no one has suggested we will be taking legal action. We will just pass relevant details to authorities. To what authorities? You are offering the download on a publicly accessible server to people. You haven't done your due diligence. What do you expect? But there you go. So I've, I've kind of done Earth 2 a favor now by showing them exactly how this was happening and also showing them that their entire source code is leaked for the front end, which, by the way, after talking to some people, has revealed some incredible security risks. So, I mean, God knows. I, uh, if they fix the security risk, I'll probably show a footage of it because it's bloody hilarious. Um, but I'm not going to tell them what it is yet. I'll uh, allow them to fumble through that one. Jesus Christ, I, I swear that this just never, this just never really ends, does it? We go from one insanity to another. It knows no bounds. Oh, what to do, what to do. Anyway, ladies and gents, I will be back with more regular videos now that we've got all the insomnia stuff out of the way. I had an absolute blast. I had a great time meeting a lot of you guys, and um, I hope you really enjoyed it if you were there. It will be happening every year from now on, and I... 
super happy about it. And as always, a massive thank you to the patrons. You guys are absolute legends. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I guess try and predict what the next failure will be for Earth 2. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.